good morning 10 standard students today i have a little different kind of video for you which i'm calling a new series solve with me in this series we're going to solve practical questions based on grammar the types of which can appear for your board exam so today let's take up the first topic which i've already posted the explanation videos for this is verbs and tenses solve with me the first part in this part we're going to cover the questions that come in the type where you're given a sentence with the verb in the bracket and you are told which tense you have to conjugate it in okay so let's begin now you will find these sentences a little familiar because they are the same ones that i've given you at the end of the explanation video part two so if you haven't already please go and solve them and then come back to watch this video where i'm going to discuss how you get the answers so let's begin the first sentence here is le mois prochain me parum dash okay so you have to fill up with the voir in the simple future tense so now the voir the root in the future is d e v r okay it's an irregular verb in the simple future which becomes d e v r as the root and the ending for me parum is a substitute for ils so you have to put the ending o n Therefore, you get me paru de vro, which is the voir in the future. Let's look at the next one. Ouvrir has to be put into the imperative. Now, remember when we're talking about the imperative, which person you are conjugating according to, you have the clue for that in the question. So, the clue is here. Okay, this is the possessive adjective for vo. Vo is your, comes from the subject, personal subject pronoun that is vo. So you have to put ouvrir, okay, in the imperative according to vu. This is an indication that you have to put it for vu. So the imperative is basically the present tense without the subject. So you don't have to write vu ouvre. You just have to write ouvre. Okay, that's it. Now the third sentence, qu'on le médecin est arrivé, je dash. Okay, and you have to put être into the imperfect for je. Now remember, etra is the sole exception for the imperfect, but you don't have to do that. Take the nu in the present tense and minus the ons. Etra is the only verb to which that doesn't apply. Okay, so for etra, remember the imperfect root is e exon t. Okay, and then you have to put the ending for je, which is a i s. Now see the e and the e is clashing. Okay, so when you're rewriting this in your exam paper, you cannot write je et. It has to be J apostrophe. It will become JT. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Lani dehnier nu dash. You have to put voyager in the passé composé. So for passé composé, the first thing you have to do is decide whether it's a true or avoir. Voyager here is not in the Dr. Mrs. Van der Tram, so it will go with avoir. So conjugate avoir for nu in the present tense becomes avon. Okay. And then we have to take the participle of Voyager. So voyager is a normal ER verb. Participle will be you substitute the ER with E accent. So it will become nous avons voyager. Remember for avoir there is no need of any agreement. The participle will remain as it is. The next one, mes cousines dash. And you have to put arriver in the future proche. Now future proche, remember it is aller plus full verb. So mes cousines, you have to put aller for them. Mes cousines becomes L in the plural so you have to put bon okay because earlier in the present tense for l is bon and then you just have to drop cut and paste the full verb as it is so it'll become me cousine won't arrive okay let's go to the next slide si nous sommes intéressés nous dash you have to put reussir into the future simple future now reussir is a normal ir verb and ir verbs the future root is the verb itself so you have to copy paste the verb okay reusir and then you have to add on the ending for nu in the future is o n s so it becomes nu reusir okay next one les étudiants is a substitute for il in the plural okay you have to put pouvoir in the present tense which is an irregular verb you have to learn this by heart it is puff p e u v e n t okay now the next one may parum substitute it with il ils now sur le you have to put into the 
per se composite. Please remember, sir Levier indicates to you that it is a reflexive. Okay, so you have to treat it with a little caution. Okay, so you take the so first you need to the moment you see that it is reflexive, you need to understand that you have to use ethra and not avoir. So conjugate ethra in the present for il it is so. Okay, then the reflexive component of it comes before ethra conjugated. So for il the reflexive component remains so. Okay, then you have to change this into its participle. The where is a normal er verb, so you have to cancel er and make it e accent. Now remember, whenever you have ethra as the auxiliary, okay, the participle has to agree with the subject. Okay, so il is masculine plural, so you need to agree by putting an extra s. That's it. Un juin il dash. You have to put pleuvoir in the present. Pleuvoir is the impersonal verb, which means to rain. It is irregular, so you have to learn it by heart. It is il ple p l e u La famille dash, you have to put aller in the future. Now, aller is an irregular verb in the future, the root of which is I, R. Okay, then you have to put the correct ending according to the subject. Now, this is a very common mistake. La famille may be a group of people, yes, but it is the noun family itself is feminine singular. Okay, so you will never conjugate this according to the third person plural. You have to conjugate famille according to the third person singular. Be careful of that. Okay, so you will not put O and T here. The ending for this will be A. So it will become La Famille Ira. Next, construir has to be put in the, into the passé composé for O. Now don't get scared when you see O. O conjugates the same way as L and L. Okay, so just treat it like it's L and L. You have put construir in the passé composé. So you, it's a normal verb as in it goes with avoir and not être. Okay, the auxiliary, so you have to put a, okay, because ela, ela, um will also take a. And then you have to put the past participle of construir, which is an irregular, that is kun stru e, i, t, c o n s t r u i, t. Okay, una construir, you don't have to do any agreement because the auxiliary is avoir. Next, si j'habite en France, je dash. Now, avoir has to be put in the conditional. Remember, conditional is the hybrid between future and imparfait. So, the root has to be the future root of avoir, which is irregular, is a u r, and the uh, the imparfait ending for je is a i s. So, therefore, you will get o r, okay, which is the conditional for avoir for je. Now, again, can you see the clash happening here? Okay, so when you're rewriting your answer paper, you'll have to write it like this. J apostrophe A U R A I S Shore. Okay. Next one. Soon pull over L dash. You have to put protégé in the symbol future. So soon pull over is substitute for ill, masculine, singular. So protégé is a normal ER verb. Okay. The future root will be the verb as it is. And then you have to put the correct ending okay future ending for il is a so you just have to add an extra a here protegera is the answer okay next one metra has to be put into the future thrush for rohit a indira this will be substituted by il masculine plural so future thrush you have to put a layer into the present tense for the subject it will become vo and then you have to put the drop cut and paste the verb Full verb as it is after a layer, so it will become vometr. Okay, next one prondra has to be put into the imperative. Imperative, you have to take the clue of the person from the sentence which is coming here. Okay, because this is the possessive adjective derived from tu. So you have to put prondra for tu in the imperative, which will become tu pro. Now, here please note you don't have to cancel the s because it is an re verb in the tu form for imperative when it's imperative for tu form for an er verb only then you will cancel the last s for re verbs the s remains let's look at the next one marina paswaf karel dash so l is a subject here you have to put boar 
in the passé composé, boire is an avoir verb, so it will be elle a. Avoir in the present tense for elle is a. And boire is an irregular participle becomes bu. Okay, elle a bu. There's no agreement happening here because it is avoir, which is the auxiliary. Next, finir has to be put in, into the future crush for Claire et Anissa, which is E L L E S L. Okay, Claire et Anissa substitute with L. Future crush is you have to put a layer, becomes vont, and then you have to drop the verb as it is in full after you put a layer, becomes vont finir. Then, qu'on la professeur, un trier has to be put in the passé composé. Now, un trier is an être verb. Okay. Takes être as its auxiliary in the passé composé because it falls into the category of Dr. Mrs. Van der Tram. So be careful with this. La professor substituted with L. Be careful of this article here. It indicates that the teacher is female. So you have to substitute it with L. Okay. Now L, you have to conjugate être in the present is EST. Okay. Then take the participle of this a normal ER verb becomes E N T R E accent. Okay. Now when être is the auxiliary, you have to agree the participle with the subject. So the subject is feminine singular. Therefore, the agreement has to be an extra e. Then, tu dash, voir has to be put into the simple future. Now, voir has an irregular root in the future, which is v-e-r-r. -R. And the ending for the tu form in the future is as. Therefore, it becomes tu vera. Okay, and the last one is savoir has to be put into the imperative. The clue is pretty straightforward here. It is given to you that you have to put it in nu. Okay, the nu form in the imperative. So savoir, you know, etra, avoir, savoir have other three which have irregular roots in the imperative. Okay, so you have to learn these three by heart. It will become, you have to take it according to the nu form. So it is sachon. Okay, sachon ou nous sommes. With that, we finish these 20 sentences. I hope this has brought some clarity to how the tenses question is going to be asked for your exams. Hope you like this type of video and see you soon with many more such videos in the future. Thank you.